Have you started recording? No. Yeah. Oh, you have? I did. Cool. Because I never know when. The oh, well, good. No, I'm glad you did. I was like, okay, when's he going to push that button? I did it already. You're always pushing my buttons. I'm always wondering wow. when you're going to push those buttons. Do you think this no, beer will push our buttons? Well, should I pretend like I haven't had it before? No, we can't do that. Then We're we, an honest group of people. Th- we are. We are. Honesty is what it's like. Transparency. That's what we're about. Yeah. That's what we're about at aboutbeverages.com. At aboutbeverages.com. Yes. So we we're are going about to... about transparency. <laughs> 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 we're going to... Uh, get that domain quickly. get that name. Quickly okay. get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what we are about today is a stout that we have both had before. Correct. We have both enjoyed, but we wanted to tell you about it. So that's what we have for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I am Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Belching Beaver Peanut Butter Milk Stout. Yes. Yes. Uh, I always get confused because I think a place that has a name like Belching Beaver should be somewhere in Oregon, but they're not. They're actually I do too. out of California. Yeah. San Diego, right? San Diego. Yep. So, um, and we've had discussions about their names and their, their name and their logo. And there's a lot of interesting stuff that we won't probably get into, but you no. can look it up on the internet if you want and yeah. find out uh, there's some been of the some, yeah, interesting discussion going yeah, on. Yeah, there's been some discussion about, about their that old name. logo and they kind of changed their logo and all this right. kind of stuff. I think their name is kind of stupid. They kind of do as well. They're like, oh, it's just a silly name we threw together. Right. Um, but we have had several of their beers, not alone, not just this one. Uh, like I said, I, we've had the uh, Phantom Bride, the Deftones Phantom Bride IPA, which is delicious. Right. Um, we've had one of their like Highway 78 double IPAs. I had that with uh, Joe, our oh, other brother. Okay. That was also delicious. Like I said, they've got a lot of lot of good beers. Uh, this one is also, like I said, it sounds weird. A peanut butter stout. Like, oh, God, peanut butter peanut stout. Peanut butter milk stout. You know, yeah. like things like that, but... Give it, give it a chance as we right. keep talking about it, okay? Keep right. an open mind, all right? But if you think about the th- but a stout and what flavor profile you usually get in a stout, and if you think about peanut butter, then you realize that maybe. Sounds, that sounds like a Reese's maybe. peanut butter cup. Yes. Possibly. That's what I'm thinking yeah. of. That's what I'm thinking of. When you say chocolate, uh, you know, you're thinking of that, possibly milk chocolate, maybe dark chocolate. Um combined with like i said with peanut butter like i said that's that's what i think of when those two things come together yeah. i'm trying to think there's someone else too that has done some unique uh stouts like this like either nitro or do, oh like the well modern times does those ones with the uh like the city of the dead with the cocoa nibs oh and yeah the, and the right. almonds and things like that and right and those are always really good too uh stone I think, has done oh go ahead didn't stone stone's on a milk stout i guess they've they, done milk they, stouts yeah. well they, the woot stout that they do oh, there also well, usually has yeah. uh what does that have in it? I think it's like uh, pecan. It tastes like pecan. I think there might so be pecans heavy. in it, but that one's really good, dude. But it comes out in like uh, for me that comes out at a bad time. I need I mean, to buy it. It comes out dead of summer. Yeah, I know. I think it's, it did just come out like within the last few weeks. It's like, like, like version. eleven or twelve percent, and it's just like this heavy. So, it, so we've t- we've, we've talked about yeah. this though. Yes, we've talked about this because you were like, oh, you know, during, you know, the reds and things. Oh, I like a red, but during, during the right. summer, you know, like we talk about the seasonal drinking thing every right. once in a while here and stuff like. The answer to that is obviously set one room to about 65 degrees <laughs> and you go in there. It's a delightful cold box and you can enjoy everything. <laughs> Pecans, bourbon, delicious. Yeah, so that, that was it is. in my head. That's what I can remember now. Yes. It just came to me right in my head. Yeah. I don't know how. Pecans, bourbon, and delicious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All three of those things. Uh, but anyway. All by yourself. So full disclosure, we both had this. Several yes. times. And I've even had it on nitro. I was nitro just going to say, do you want to be draft. even crueler <laughs> is that you've had this on nitro on draft. Yes. Which sounds like the ultimate way. But let's talk about what we have here. That's true. We've got something that is obviously, as you can tell by my shirt. We don't even have to here. put it in front of our own shirts. We can no. leave it right there. Yeah, we actually you, can. Yeah, usually we can't do that. But yeah, it's nice and dark. Very, very dark. Very dark. <laughs> very hot. Very, very, and hot. very wet. <laughs> I boiled a roast. How hot and wet do you like it? <laughs> Very hot. Very hot. Very Naked hot. gun reference for anyone oh, here. Oh, God, that's so good. Because it's so stupid. We were just talking so about that today. What we were talking about, actually, oh, my God, this ties oh, in so perfectly. Oh, I know what you're going with. I know what <laughs> you're know going for. Going. I do. Yeah, it ties in so perfectly. <laughs> like, so the... The line that is one of the greatest lines in all the Naked Gun is when he's helping her get stuff off the bookshelf, and the first thing is he says, "Nice beaver." Nice beaver. <laughs> oh, thanks. I just, I just had, had it stuff. stuff, and she hands down this beaver, which is like so. That's hilarious, belching beaver. So that you right. and I both knew. It. Uh, yeah. But then the next line, he says, "That's a honey of an ankle bracelet you have there," and she's got it around. And she's like, "Oh, did that get down there again?" And he gives this look to the camera, 
And his look is the audience. Like, I don't know what that what means. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, and I, I don't ever want to know what that means. <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. Yeah. It's like it makes the joke even it's better. It's good just, yeah, for that not to have but any yeah. any back, <laughs> any, any answer to that. <laughs> nice, Beaver. <Yeah. laughs> nice, Beaver. Thanks. I just when had Nordberg stuff. said, I love you, he was talking about the ship. <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> now. now. <laughs> that movie is amazing to this day. Absolute classic. Is this beer a classic in a in aroma? It's See how I tie that together. It smells like a waffle cone. There's like some waffle cone. Waffle a little cone. A, a nutty waffle cone. Peanut There's butter. A sweet. The nut. The chocolate. peanut butter. The it's chocolate just, in there. Yeah. Notes of amazing mixed with awesome. <laughs> mixed with awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. that's about what it is. Oh god, that smells so good. This is. I just. Well, wait, wait, we have we have to taste it first. Okay. Before I can say what I'm going to say. Let's taste it and then say yeah. all the things we yeah. want to say. <laughs> That's just amazing dessert. That's like dessert to me. Yeah. And and I and what I like about it is it's not I mean, I, I, I do like the bourbon age stuff, the, the barrel age, as long as it doesn't get to, to be too sweet. I like it when it imparts that. But they're still heavy in alcohol. Right. They're 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 sippers and they're great. But like this one is just so tasty and just so easy. And it's just and that's why that's why I say dessert, because it's a great, just easygoing finisher it's not like it's that final drink at the end of the night this is this is dessert it's delicious i could honestly see choosing this over a dessert i mean obviously some desserts oh, yeah. i wouldn't but yeah. depending on what was laid out before me i could easily pick this yeah. as a dessert it's that kind of delicious sweet but with there's like i said the peanut butter comes through and yeah. all of these things in just the right amount as you'd want oh, them yeah. to be you yeah. could pour this over ice cream if you want oh, to make yeah. some sort of beer float. That'd be float. fantastic. Absolutely. I just looked. 5.3% alcohol. Yeah. You could have two or three of these. Yeah. It's a session stout. It, <laughs> it's hard to find those. <laughs> it's actually a little light for some of our listeners, but yeah, as, exactly. a, as a session. Might be underweight. Yeah, it might be under. <laughs> but yeah, I think this beer is absolutely fantastic. I, 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 I love it. Like I said, it's, you know, it's just... Because of all those reasons. I can even have this, like, are you okay having this, obviously, even during the summer? Oh, yeah. It's more easy drinking because of the flavor profile. It is. And it's, and it's a milk stout, so it's going to be lighter. It's going right. to have that kind of, um, that profile to it. But those flavors in there and are just, they're, like, just right. I mean, they're yeah. just so good. And, yes, if you ever get a chance to have it on Draft Nitro, Draft I Nitro, recommend. tell me about it. Let me live vicariously through it. Well, it was, just, it was just this, but just. Even creamier, amped, I'm assuming. Yeah, amped up, yeah. Even the flavor come through. There's a little more body, yeah, just a little uh, bit more, and that's why I had. Oh God, a little more body. I had Kristen try it, and and I I honestly she doesn't like stouts, but I honestly thought she would just not be able to resist those flavors, but she resisted. She, resisted. but that's okay. Well, that's because okay. it wasn't it's a. Style. It's because it wasn't a chocolate mint stout. Oh yeah, but there was something today. We tried to do that, that one mint. year. Remember we did that mint beer like oh four yeah or five years ago. You guys, yeah, that wasn't bad. No, the mint just got powerful. Yeah, did real mint. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, no, that could be perfected. Bad. We yeah. should do that one again. We should talk about that. Oh, one. that was it. You can edit this out at Whole Foods today. There was a victory at sea with something mint or candy cane, and I was like, ew. Oh, they do a victory. Yeah, with peppermint. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Good lord. Did you try it? No. Well, then you can't say that. You're right, but you, maybe I can. You just have not yet acquired the taste for that yet. And I. I'm surprised it me. wasn't mango that they added it too. Oh God. Anyway. The things that. Ballast Point does with their beers. And now. obviously, I don't really drink them much anymore anyway because they've done all their business of selling out and whatever. I was not a huge fan of their stuff anyway. Like, it was fine. I liked like it. Never, like, yeah. it never was, like, I don't know. Back in the day, their Sculpin was really good. And yeah, but it was never one, like, it's, it was never one, like, a stone where it was like, I'll try anything you're putting. Like, that was definitely, like, okay. let me see what this is reviewed as. Let me kind of look at, like, I don't know. They they had not earned that trust with me. Where okay. Like, they hadn't earned the I trust of, like, a stone, a modern times, um you know, name a few. Like I said, uh, Knee Deep. I'll try a lot of stuff from them. Um, they're like I said, those are some of my favorites. Like I said, I think they're even getting into this category, especially with some of the weird things that they'll do. Because I've liked a lot of their stuff, and the Deftones one is is delicious. So yeah, uh, there is not enough praise we can heap upon this beer. Like I said again, is it the most, you know, completely complex, like amazing, like you just said, the bourbon? But it's it's not all those. It's no. just a really fantastic solid easy drinking stout that's got unique flavors it drinks like a dessert yeah and it's just great anytime like it's just it's just yeah. a wonderful yeah find and uh absolutely yeah. I, I love it when a weird beer can like works yeah you know like i said because you try it's, so many that don't that are just you know just yeah. completely they just don't aren't harmonious and they're not 
you know, they don't they don't happen. So it's just it's so nice having something that does come together. Um, and what uh, has also come together is the two of us when we formed aboutbeverages.com. Correct. Which is where you can Correct. find uh, all the... Correct, sir! <laughs> where you can find uh, all of our other podcasts, our videos, all those types of things. Uh, if you were someone that goes to YouTube, you can also subscribe to us there. That's where we put up all of our most recent videos, uh, our reviews, anything like that that we need to talk about. And if we have something short form that we really need to talk about, something we're having during the week, where do they find us? Uh, we will tweet about that. That is correct. Absolutely. We will be on Twitter. Absolutely. That is the other place. And during the week, throughout the night, if you're not here on Thursday, on twitch.tv slash aboutbeverages for our live shows like this, where we do all these things live uh, throughout the week, I'm playing games. Join Andrew as he plays games. Yeah. and uh, th- it'll Tomorrow's prob- Candyland. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's Candyland. Saturday night, shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders, shoots and ladders That's on right. Saturdays. That's right. <laughs> that would actually be awesome. You probably could do board games. I saw someone the other day that had a channel on Twitch, and they were putting together uh, Millennium Falcon Legos. And I was nice. like, and I saw they had, to, but it was already over. I was like, I kind of would have liked to watch that. <laughs> I bet that would have been like, I think they were on creative. Like I said, some of those creative channels are really cool because it's usually people doing art or, you know, sometimes doing music or doing things like that. It's like, nice. it can just be those nice, like soothing kind of things. Like just to like, I'm going to bed and like, I don't want, you know. Right. So anyway. I was going to say, but whether we like it, or, we love this beer. You should right. just try it. Right. There's no, yeah. There's no whether we like it or we yeah. like this beer. You need to give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs>